freedom from fear and social anxieties. Practice bhakti in whatever way you can. Studies in the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry of Swami Ji Maharaj today on Spiritual Awakening Radio about being faithful to the path even if others around you are not not even aware of the path or about being vegetarian or practicing meditation but first studies in the glossary of the Radha Swami faith so we may better understand what words like bhakti mean going in as I've said on past programs, I could do whole talks just based on the glossary of the Radhaswami faith, defining the language of the masters. You know, you'll find all the teachings embodied in these mystic terms. Studies in the glossary for a minute or two before beginning an exploration of the Sarbachan. Paramath defined as the highest and most sublime truth, true paramatha, spiritual knowledge, knowledge about the Supreme Being, truth, reality, earnestness, the best end, highest object, ideal, salvation, spiritual welfare, spiritual regeneration, spiritual matters and affairs. Paramath is the performance of bhakti or devotion and abhayas or meditation practices with an aim to extricate mind and soul from the region of maya or illusion. Or paramathi, a paramathi is one in search or pursuit of Paramath or spirituality, a follower of Paramath. Paramathi Bhag, fitness for spiritual regeneration. Paramathi Jivas, spiritual persons, spiritual souls. Bhakti means spiritual love. Bhakti is a word that can be defined as devotion, reverence, service, worship, homage, humility, faith, belief, being a pious follower, a mode of devotion. Premi Bhakta, a loving devotee. Prem, love, affection, kindness, tender regard friendship, love and devotion, prema bhakti, devotion and love, loving devotion, prem sarup, all love, the form of love, sat guru bhakti, devotion to a sat guru or living master, shabd bhakti or nam bhakti, Performing the practice of Surat Shabad Yoga, being devoted to the sound current in meditation. God Bhakti, Abed Bhakti, unified devotion, non distinguishable devotion on reaching the highest region, the Surat soul drop from the ocean can at will merge into the Supreme Father, the ocean of love, or retain its separate drop entity level or status and enjoy the bliss of God's vision or darshan. These two states are known as Abid Bhakti and Bed Bhakti respectively. That is absolutely fascinating. The soul has free will in the upper levels of Sachkhand, like Agam Lok or Agam or Alak Lok, 
to either merge into the Supreme Being or retain its separateness and continue to enjoy the I-Thou relationship. Free will, even at that high level, the soul has free will to retain its own separate identity or merge back into the divine ocean. The following paragraph is from the book Phelps Notes, authored by Myron Phelps. The Supreme Father is a vast, homogeneous ocean of pure spirit. He is perfect, sufficient in himself to himself, in an ecstatic state of love and bliss. Before creation, he alone was conscious. There was none but he to see, and none but him to be seen. There was only the Lord immersed in his own rapturous bliss that limitless reservoir of love which alone was in existence with none to adore or exchange love with him was an ocean of absolute bliss or ananda his primary characteristic is love god is nothing but a vast reservoir of love and bliss myron phelps from the book phelps notes and now, having defined the term bhakti as spiritual love, we begin our study in the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry, the mystic poetry of Swamiji Maharaj, also known as Seth Shivdayal Singh, or a.k.a. Sant Radhaswami Saheb of Agra from his great spiritual classic, Sarbachan Radhaswami Poetry. On our journey through this culture, through this society, attempting to be faithful to the spiritual path and its meditation practice, Studies in the Sarbachan Freedom from fear and social anxieties Practice bhakti in whatever way you can Sant Mat is a family-friendly sort of spiritual path Though there is some percentage of sadhus or monk-type solitary individuals that follow this path a large majority of initiates or satsangis, disciples of Sant Mat, are in the category of householders, a term meaning married couples creating families and part of the workaday world. In other words, not living in a cave somewhere, but they are attempting to negotiate their way through society while following the path of the masters and doing the meditation practice known as Surat Shabad Yoga inner light and sound meditation remaining faithful to it living a spiritual way of life with the teachings of Swamiji Maharaj in his spiritual classic the Sarbachan Radha Swami poetry performing bhakti means to follow the spiritual path stay faithful to and mindful of the teachings of the masters doing the meditation practice without giving in to the negative influences of others that we are guaranteed to always be encountering during this life the adverse belief systems opinions and pressures from friends family co-workers and society in general to not value the path, the masters, and not to remain faithful to the meditation practice. Everyone we meet seeks to pull us towards their religions, their beliefs, their state of consciousness, whatever that may be. And Sant Mat advocates an intoxicant-free, teetotaling, fairly straight-edge, 
vegetarian or vegan, low karma, low drama lifestyle, which of course is very much at odds with the mainstream. Be free of fear. Be free of anxiety. Confidently follow the path, no matter what they say. As Swami G says, perform bhakti. And now for the mystic verses of Swami G Maharaj. Says Swami G, first of all, you should perform bhakti of guru. Then you will attain nam. Here he is speaking of following the teachings of the master, receiving initiation from him into the spiritual practices, the meditation practices, making meditation upon the name, the inner light, and the inner sound part of our daily experience. Says Swamiji Maharaj in the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry, Give up the fear and regard for the world. Heed what I say. Perform bhakti. Banish fear and regard for caste and color. Heed what I say. Perform bhakti. Fear not, friend or foe. Heed what I say. Perform bhakti. Forsake fear of parents. Heed what I say. Perform bhakti. Do not be afraid of wife and children. Heed what I say, perform bhakti. Do not be afraid of brothers and nephews. Heed what I say, perform bhakti. Have no fear of mother-in-law and father-in-law. Fear not daughter-in-law and son-in-law. Cast off fear of friends and acquaintances. Heed what I say, perform bhakti. Have no fear of kith and kin. Engage in bhakti. When you have resolved to apply yourself to bhakti, have no fear of them. You should perform bhakti. Should you fear those who are unaware of the secrets? Perform bhakti. Let your mind be free from fear of all these people. Listen to me, my dear. Perform bhakti. As long as you are not free from fear of all, you are imperfect. So perform bhakti. Honor or dishonor, whatever befalls you, consider such to be the maj, the divine will. And keep on performing bhakti. Keep on following the path. This is from another translation of the Sarbachan poetry, this section. Whether you are held in high honor or in dishonor, favor or disfavor, distinction or disgrace, treat both situations arising out of his maj or dispensation and remain steady in the course of bhakti. Let your heart bask in and feel secure under the benevolent influence of the master O darling, remain steadfast in bhakti. Those hostile to you will not be able to do any damage to you in any way. Why do you hesitate? Persevere in bhakti. Derive strength from the master to face all sorts of situations. I tell you, my dear, perform bhakti. Nobody can cause you any harm. Why do you fear? Perform bhakti. Nothing happens without the maj, the will of the master. I tell you, my dear, perform bhakti. You are imperfect in your bhakti. That is why you falter. What more should I tell you? Go on performing bhakti. Slowly and gradually you will gain stability. There is no other remedy but to perform bhakti. One day your imperfect bhakti will become perfect. Give up hypocrisy and engage in bhakti. Insincere bhakti will not do. Perform true and sincere bhakti, no matter if it is imperfect. 
Radha Swami graciously declares that you should perform bhakti in whatever manner you can. From the stage of immaturity or raw, your bhakti, one of these days, will become mature. The most important ingredient is that you ought to give up hypocrisy and pretension and perform honest, real bhakti. Pretentious bhakti will be of no avail. Practice and perform true bhakti sincerely, even if it is half-baked, poorly planned, raw, and immature. Radha Swami ordains, perform bhakti of any sort in whichever way you can. My dear, do not be deceived on coming into the world. I caution you, do not be deceived here. Consider none your friend when you proceed earnestly on the path of the guru. They feel alarmed and come forward to stop you. They make all sorts of caustic remarks to create confusion and misapprehension in your mind. Beware of them. Your good or harm is none of their concern. They only cling to their own selfish ends. You too are sagacious and dear to guru. Mingle with them, but keep your attention steadfast at the holy feet of the master. They too would be benefited in this way. And at the same time, your bhakti would suffer no setback. Those who are averse to guru bhakti and nam remain intractable should be avoided with tact and humility. Nothing wrong with that. But cultivate friendship with those rare ones who are well disposed towards Guru Bhakti and Nam. Radha Swami enjoins upon you that you should engage in Bhakti again and again. Take all possible care that Bhakti receives no setback on any account. Otherwise, you will have to repent a lot. Oh dear seeker, don't allow yourself to be duped by this world. I warn you not to be taken in and cheated. Here, regard no one as your friend, for all of the worldlings are like thugs, robbers and decoits, sitting ready to trap you. Whenever you honestly and firmly take to the path as shown by the master, they will be startled and will seek to stop you and prevent you from marching forward. They will tease and taunt you and will talk to you about the ups and downs, highs and lows of the path that you have chosen to tread and will delude you and mislead your mind. Beware. With those who are well disposed towards the teachings of the masters and possibly towards dedication and devotion, Remain friendly towards them and live amiably with them. Radhaswami counsels you again and again. Practice bhakti, perform bhakti. Give up the fear and regard for the world. Heed what I say, perform bhakti, love and devotion, following the meditation practice, following the teachings of the masters, says Swamiji Maharaj in the Sarbachan Radhaswami poetry. Some other selections from the teachings of the masters. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras. O oh, Jiva, O oh, captive soul, somewhere in time, Give up all blind adherences and beliefs. Concentrate within and seek the Supreme Being there, adopting Him alone as your goal. Do ponder over what I say and see for yourself with eyes wide open that there is none in this world to whom you can call your own. You should adopt the Supreme Being alone as your prop and support. More from Swamiji Maharaj. Doing the devotion is not like we are doing a favor to anyone. It is in fact having mercy on our own self. 
says Guru Kabir, put all imaginations away and stand fast in that which you are. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, I have described in detail Satmat, with which worldly ways are incompatible. I have tasted the bliss of the original abode which alone is true. The world, on the other hand, is only a fleeting show, and only if one ponders over this, one will be able to realize the essence of Satmat, and then alone will one's boat of life be able to cross the ocean of worldly existence. The ocean of worldly existence, that's the ocean of samsara, this turbulent ocean of change. Here, Tulsi Sahib uses the term satmat, S-A-T-M-A-T, not santmat. This is referring to the eternal teachings of God, satmat. This is from Hazur Maharaj Raisalagram Bahadur, a disciple of Swamiji. The place where the people are always talking about the secrets of the path of Surat Shabad Yoga is true satsang. Recently I uploaded online the Dial Bhag translations in English of Prem Patra Radhaswami, the series of volumes by Huzur Maharaj. You'll find it at the Radhaswami section of my e-library linked at my website, spiritualawakeningradio.com. Prem Patra Radhaswami, volumes one through six, represents some of the greatest spiritual discourses of Sant Mat. Huzur Maharaj Rai Salagram was a prolific writer. This is from the biography of Babuji Maharaj. Attendance in satsang and service of the Sant Sat Guru are no doubt essential factors in spiritual progress, but when these are not available, the devotee can maintain his or her usual progress by performing meditation practices regularly with earnestness and zeal and reading the sacred books regularly every day. Reading the writings of the masters, the poetry and prose of the masters, the sants, is a level of satsang. And you can practice this at home every day. Read something every day, listen to a podcast or watch a video, whatever it might be, and then go meditate. This is satsang at home. Guru Kabir once said, keep on reciting God's name and you will live pleasantly in this world. With true love as your master, your life map will change. Nicholas of Kusa, to know the sweetness of the infinite within us, that is the cause, the reason, the purpose, the only purpose of our being. Maharishi Mehi Paramahans, look for and search for God within yourself, within your own body. God resides within. Look for him there. Once more from the discourses of Babuji Maharaj of Agra. Within the innermost recesses, all spirituality is one, and it has never undergone any division. Our spirituality or soul, or surat, the attention faculty of the soul, is an emanation from the Supreme Being. Within the innermost recesses, it is one with the Lord. Unquote. This, of course, is one of the most radical teachings of the Masters. Each soul is a particle or ray or drop of the Supreme Being. Swami Ji Maharaj from the Sarbachan. The Lord in Shabd form is always with you and is never far. Have patience and you will get a glimpse of true light. If my beloved wishes, he can call me near him in a moment. By means of the sound current, 
He can instantly elevate me, says Swamiji. Raise your surat, your soul, with shabad, the sound current, and you will have darshan or vision of the refulgent form of the Lord. Be saturated with his love and yearning. Keep away from evil tendencies and leanings. Combating the mind and its forces remain absorbed in the sound current. That's from the letters of Swamiji Maharaj. Sant Tulsi Sahib of Hathras, great reverberation of Shabad is going on within you, and one should fix one's attention upon it. Rumi, Jaaladin Rumi, the king of the Sufi poets, once said, Bring the sky beneath your feet and listen to celestial music everywhere. This is from Sant Darya Sahib of Marwar. Darya meditates on the one Lord and thereby resolves all problems, mundane and spiritual. This is from the Anurag Sagar, a different translation actually, of the Anurag Sagar, the Ocean of Love, the Gospel of Kabir. If a person adopts a master and having firm faith in him, gets himself initiated, does meditation with devotion or bhakti, then he can become a hansa, a pure soul, a heavenly bird. Such an attainment is priceless. His master will take him step by step to the thousand-petaled lotus, Trikudi, Daswandwar, Banwar Gufa, Sach Khand, and after a short stay to Alak, Agam, and Anami Desh, which is the highest eternal region, the ultimate abode. Another term for the ocean of love, the ultimate abode. Resting in the protection of Radhaswami Dayal, the merciful Lord of the soul, one should give up all fears, worries, doubts, relying upon his compassion. One should become free from care and anxiety. It is only when one becomes carefree in respect to this region, this physical plane, that one will be able to perform the meditation. This is what the cushion of a carefree state means. That's from the discourses of Babuji Maharaj. Freedom from fear and social anxieties. Practice bhakti in whatever way you can. It does not matter if your bhakti is imperfect. Perform bhakti, says Swamiji. Radha Swami graciously declares that you should perform bhakti in whichever way you can.